Hi guys, welcome back. It's day 13. Day 13. Wow. We're going 40 days with this, guys. We've got a good ways to go, but it's been fun to do this journey with you guys. So thank you for traveling with me. I hope that um, you guys are experiencing um, the good news. This is good news, right? We need good news now. And uh, there is joy in Jesus. I'm so grateful. This is the day the Lord has made, you guys. Let's rejoice and be glad in it. All right, let's start today's reading with Psalm 63.5, which says, I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips, my mouth will praise you. And uh, I was thinking when I read that verse, like, it's hard to grumble and and gripe and be fussy when we have praise on our lips, right? And let's let's remember that, you know, when we're just kind of in the thick of it and we're just like everything's getting on our nerves and maybe we're just having a bad day or maybe we're just really sad to just break out in praise. You know, I don't think that we can grumble and gripe and fuss if we're using our mouth to praise him. All right. All right. Uh, this is from the book, Sarah Young's book, 40 Days of Jesus, Always Joy in His Presence. And we are on day 13. It says, I have good intentions for you. They may be radically different from what you hoped or expected, but they are nonetheless good. I am light. In me, there is no darkness at all. So look for my light in all your circumstances. I am abundantly present in your moments. Your assignment is to be open to me and my ways with you. Sometimes this requires relinquishing things you had planned or dreamed. You need to remember and wholeheartedly believe that my way is perfect, no matter how hard it is. I am a shield for all who take refuge in me. When you're feeling afflicted or afraid, come to me and say, Lord, I take refuge in you. I don't shield you from things I intend for you to deal with, for you have an important part to play in this world. However, I protect you from more dangers and troubles than you can imagine. So make every effort to live the life I have assigned to you. Do this in joyful dependence on me, and your soul will be richly satisfied. Amen. Ah, so good. There's so much joy in Jesus, you guys. All right, in Psalms 1830, it says, As for God, his way is perfect. The Lord's word is flawless. He shields all who take refuge in him. Amen. And you guys, Sarah uses scriptures at the end of every entry, and it's how she wrote that entry. It's as if Jesus is speaking to us. She takes that scripture and writes the devotion. So she shares the scripture that she uses each day. And those are, I always pick out two of the scriptures to share with you guys. And sometimes I remember and sometimes I forget <laughs> to share the other scriptures that she has down. Um which is 1 John 1, 5 and um, 1 Corinthians 7, 17. And if you want to take the time to read those, that would be awesome. Um, and may it be a reminder of not all days are good, right? Not all days are good. But God is in each day and He is good. So let that be a, a reminder. And... That, you know, no matter what circumstances we face, we go through, that God is there. He's in control. And I just love the part that says, however, I protect you from more dangers and troubles than you can imagine. It just reminds me of like, you know, he keeps his angels all about us, right? And uh, recently, Gigi and I were riding in the car and a car pulled out right in front of us. And... The Lord shielded us, you guys, and that's happened more than once. We actually were in a wreck um, a good many years ago, and a car had slammed into the side of us, and it hit 
where Gigi was sitting. And I saw a shield, like a shield of light. I can't explain it to you guys. It's not something that like, like in earthly words I can use, but I saw like a, a covering over her. And um, wow, ah, it brings tears to me today just to still think about that. So he's with us, you guys, he's with us. And, you know, I think that, there's so many times we just feel like, you know, is he there? Is he with us? And boy, just think of the things that he protects us from that we are unaware of. He's always looking out for us, you guys. Okay, Father, thank you. Thank you that you have good intentions for us. Thank you that you're watching after us. Thank you for your shield. Thank you for your angels. Thank you for your covering. Thank you, Father, for saving us daily from harm there's joy in that it doesn't mean that each day doesn't have pressures or hard things that we face it's there but lord you are there to protect us you're there to raise us up and i praise you for that thank you lord i love you so much thank you our Father who's in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. I'm so sorry that these devotionals are getting a little bit longer. Y'all know I try so hard to keep things short and I just never can seem to do it. But I love you guys. Thanks for sticking it out. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the whatever. And um, I love you. And Jesus loves you so, 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 so much more. And don't forget, if you meet me and forget me, you've lost nothing. If you meet Jesus and forget him, you've lost everything. I love you guys. Bye.